Hi everybody, welcome to my video. I begin in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to help me as I record your words. I beg you to dip every word I speak in your precious blood so that they will reach the hearts and minds of all those you wish to communicate with. I ask this of the Father in your holy and precious name, Jesus. Amen. This video is entitled, Jesus Speaks About Spiritual Fornicators. And Jesus speaks to us. See, beloved, I told you it will be exposed soon. This is only the tip of the iceberg. It will soon be discovered that idolatry is strong, that the forces of evil are being used through the worship of idolatrous images in the form of animals and other hideous means and in the form of an idea of Satan himself. These images have been used for many years but kept hidden. Soon, beloved, I will expose this and you will see that my faithfuls must pray arduously against these forces in order to control as well as expose them. For many of my creatures, many of my creations and the souls of my creations are being tampered with by these spiritual fornicators. Pray assiduously against these evils. The force of prayer upon the earth will hamper them. You ask, why is it that despite the fervent prayers being offered against these things, they are still happening and still prevalent? Remember that it is the prayers which are causing their exposure. Eat only of the flesh of the lamb and drink the blood of the lamb and enter not into the liaisons of Satan's hordes who believe they can help themselves through his power. When all this is crushed, how much weeping and gnashing of teeth there will be. The blood of my saints even now are crying out against these spiritual fornicators. I say to them, wait but a while. In the span of eternity's time, but a little while, though it may seem so much longer in your own estimation of man-administered time, but a while, and with the coming of my kingdom, all else will be destroyed, all that is not of me and mine what is not of my father's. So the blood of my saints must cry out a while yet, then sweet solace, the crushing of the enemy, the retribution which will be meted out to those who cry anathema to Christ, for this is their battle cry very often. Solace me in my grief for the souls which are being lost, even now, even after the ultimate sacrifice, Sometimes it may weary you, for much comes out of those who pray, but much goes into those who pray, and the light of heaven which shines on my followers is the light which will blind Satan in the final times, blinded by the glory of this light, which in its concentrated form he will not be able to withstand. He will turn around and be glad to run back to hell to escape it the light which my beloveds draw down to the earth with their prayers. Pray, beloved, never falter. Draw down to the earth the heavenly light which will blind him, which will spin him around and return him to his lasting abode when the predestined time arrives. Go now in peace. Seek peace. Pursue it the peace of my grace, which is the shield of my predestined ones. The blasphemies of the ungodly sometimes blind those who are already blind, disillusioning them into imagining that they see light, a hallucination of the evil one. How many are eventually caught in the darkness of destruction, in the final loss of the everlasting glory which I have prepared for all. I leave you now, but remember that soon... Some of the exposure will frighten and shock and leave in amazement many who do not realize that there is a curtain between them and the unsavory dealings of those who follow the Antichrist, the anathema to God. Fear not, the light of my Holy Spirit will guide and protect my elect. My peace be with them all. And then she was given a prayer I assume by Jesus, because she just said, act of adoration to the Eternal Father given to the soul, which I assume was given to her by Jesus. And here's this prayer. 
O Eternal Father, I bow down before you and offer you my mind, that it will serve you now and for all eternity. O Eternal Father, I bow down before you and offer you my heart, that it will love you now and for all eternity. O Eternal Father, I bow down before you and offer you my soul, now and for all eternity. Amen. I ask God in all his wisdom and love that we will be enlightened by these holy words. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.